Hello everyone, my name is Huda and I represent Mimuna Association. This is an NGO in Morocco that started initially as a student club in 2007. And it was a group of us Muslim students who decided it's extremely important that we understand, preserve and promote Moroccan Jewish heritage as a key part of our identity as Moroccans. Now that was a bit unheard of because in our age group, most people had not even known about the existence of Judaism in Morocco or that there is such a thing as a Moroccan Jewish person. So a lot of our activities were focused on building that knowledge base and there would be normally three pronged where we would have an academic part, bringing in guest speakers, talking about topics like traditions, for example, for marriage, then followed by a kosher meal that we bring on campus and people would eat it and say, yeah, but that's just normal food. And we say, exactly, that's just Moroccan food. And then the highlight of the day would probably be the musical concert because music is very important for us as Moroccans. And so we'd have a Jewish singer, Muslim musicians and a full auditorium of Muslim students dancing for hours and just saying, yes, this is the music I had at my sister's wedding. And finding that commonality has always been something that is a great point for us to start having these discussions. So when Vanessa, a friend of Mimuna, asked us to comment on childbirth, I was thinking, yes, that's a great topic because we have specific rituals. I have looked at her research because Dr. Elbaz had a thesis with the songs happening in the Jewish community in the North. And I have compared what I have read with what I know from my background, having parents being ethnically from the South of Morocco and also having spent many years in Fes. So when it comes to childbirth, um, it's quite important when you think about the traditions that we have. A long time ago, that was quite uh, dangerous. The mother or the baby could have died, which meant that we have developed a whole set of rituals to protect them both. And when you look at how we go about these, uh, you will see common themes. So one thing I had uh, seen in the, in, in, in the Jewish community is having a sword, a metal sword that is walked around the baby's room for 40 days. This element of metal is definitely something you will see in a lot of the uh, Muslim traditions, especially in the South where there is a use of a specific knife because there is a belief that iron or steel would ward off evil spirits. We call it Jnun, which are maleficent uh, entities. You could also at times use a shard of a broken mirror for the same effect. Then you have the use of bhor. Um, this is something that is commonly used for to ward off evil eyes. And um, some people would use shibba ul harman, which is a specific type of, uh, of incense. Um, and then you would also have a very specific uh, consideration for anything with flesh and blood. In Jewish families, the the foreskin would be kept in sand and then uh, buried after 40 days. Similarly, in the south of Morocco, the placenta is given to the care of a very trusted woman to go bury it somewhere where only she knows of it. And any uh, byproduct of birth, including blood, would go immediately into the ground because there is a belief that these parts will actually be an open door for uh, evil spirits to come in. So very, very great care is taken into uh, making sure that this is handled properly. In an area around Casablanca, some people would actually even use the knife that is used to slaughter the sheep and wash it in the center of the house. The biggest event uh, in, in, in Muslim uh, birth would be uh, the seventh day where the baby is finally given a name. And until then, the baby is considered quite vulnerable and not really a separate entity from their mother. And so you would see the use of uh, amulets, uh, depending on the region, uh, some protections, um, and all kinds of, uh, of uh, uh, artifacts to make sure that nothing, no harm comes to them until they are introduced to the world. And everything that happens until they are introduced to the world is really a woman's affair in both communities. It's very women-centric where uh, the, the, the new mother is surrounded by very close family members, maybe some wise women who would help her through birth, but um, it's, it's, a, it's a very intimate uh, ceremony. There is a lot of henna involved and uh, there are a lot of songs involved. And you would have also 
uh, some elements of uh, uh, religion woven with, with, with singing. So the religious part is typically a man thing. For example, uh, for when a baby is born, their uh, grandfather would come and say the adhan, the call of prayer, in their ear. But then the songs will be probably done by women around, especially in the region of Fes, where you have a lot of the young girls singing to the woman. Then when it comes to the outside part, like the public part, then you start having the uh, like more of a representation for all the community. So in Fes, you would have a sawa, you would have trakia, which would bring in a, a lot of percussion. And then uh, as you get to the to the master ceremony, you will have Andalusian music, which is a bit more, uh, it's a sit down music. It's a bit slower and more ceremonial. And that is something that almost looks like a second wedding when you see it the first time. In the South, similarly, you will have uh, a lot of uh, religious chants, uh, people reciting Quran, but also reciting uh, um, other liturgy. And uh, um, the celebration would be obviously different depending on whether it's a big family, whether it's a, it's a, a, a big events, the firstborn, sometimes some differences between if it's a, a girl or a boy, if, if they were waiting for a boy for a long time. But you will see that the commonalities are always there. There is an element of song, there is an element of women centricity, and there is an element of protecting from evil eye or other evil beings by using things like metal, by paying attention to the byproducts of birth, etc. So this is a quick view of some of the traditions that we have in Morocco surrounding birth and uh, new moms. I hope you like this and uh, looking forward to seeing you in the event.